Hey, it's Scotty. I just got finished loading uh, some fleece. Just cleaned the fleece out of some cages. And um, I just got a message from Drew. And she was saying that she gives her guinea pigs uh, sweet peppers, bell peppers, different color peppers. And she wanted to know if that was enough for uh, vitamin C. Now, it is true that green peppers or peppers in general are one of the best um, sources of vitamin C for veggies that you can give. I wanted to talk about Child Life Liquid Vitamin C. Let's go in here. Oh boy. Hi guys. So, of course, I recommend Child Life Liquid Vitamin C and I recommend also <laughs> the vitamin C cookies. There's a number of places you can get them. Oxbow has some. If you check the diet section of my guinea pig care guide on my website you'll see a number of vitamin c options so i really hope you'll check that out and clicking those links definitely helps the animals but let's talk about child life liquid vitamin c because there's a number of other reasons why you would want to have this okay now if your guinea pigs are ever showing any signs of scurvy like their back legs are dragging then it's a good idea to give them vitamin c because it can prevent scurvy or if you have piggies that you rescue from a shelter or that just seem malnourished vitamin c it's a great regimen and remember vitamin c is water soluble so what that means is that if you give too much vitamin c if they get too much vitamin c now you only need one milliliter of vitamin C. But if you were to give them this 50 milligrams of vitamin C plus vitamin C in their pellets or in their in their veggies, within moderation, it's they will just pee out the excess. So um, you don't have to worry about that. But if you are giving medicine, Sometimes, like, uh, Batril will be a 0.2, very, very small dose of medicine. And it is an injectable type of antibiotics, but we give it orally. I believe that's what it is. Uh, either way, it's a very small dose, and it's very bitter. It tastes horrible. But if you fill the rest of the syringe up with the vitamin C, it can be a lot better tasting. There's a number of things. Also, charcoal, When if your piggy has diarrhea, I do have a charcoal video. I believe that's also in the, it's probably in the illness section. And I recommend you read all the sections so that you get a complete comprehensive understanding. Um, look at these guys over here. What are you guys doing? Um, so, but if you had to give charcoal and you do a whole syringe worth of charcoal, you can dip the tip of the charcoal in the vitamin C and then they'll be more likely to want to eat it because of the, the, the flavor. Oh my gosh, I, I hope I got Nate. He just ran across. I don't think you guys were able to see that. But so uh, whether it's medicine or whether it's charcoal, um, and also you can mix a squirt or two of this in critical care or other emergency food or if you don't have critical care you can mash up some pellets and then you can squirt a little vitamin c in there and it'll make it taste better so there's a million reasons why you want to have this especially in an emergency and it's less than ten dollars to get this and uh if you just use it for daily vitamin C, there's 120 doses in here, right, for less than $10. So that is, there's just, and, and with, the, with the, the brown glass, it's going to really um, last a long time. And you just keep it out of the sunlight, keep this cap on tight, and uh, it's going to last a long time. Let's see, I just got this one, and is there an expiration date on it? There probably is, but... Okay, here it is on the bottom. Expires 8, 2022 in August. I'm sure I'll go through that way before then. And of course, uh, it probably, you could even use it a little bit longer. But the worst case, you know, where I mean to say the worst thing 
would be that you have something in your emergency kit that expires. That's like having a fire extinguisher that expires. It's like you don't want to use your fire extinguisher. It's there in an emergency. So if you have to every once in a while get rid of, throw away, replenish things that are in your emergency kit, I keep applesauce in my fridge and I mix that with critical care and that's a good way to help piggies that don't have an appetite or for whatever reason don't want to eat. That's a great way to get them to eat. But when that gets close to expiring, guess what? I eat the applesauce and then I buy more. So same thing with this. For It's so inexpensive. If you didn't use it, big deal. It's so inexpensive. But I'm sure you start after the third or fourth time, your piggies will be climbing the walls to get this. Sometimes they find that it's a little too sweet. Um, but even if you give your piggies vitamin C in the form of veggies or vitamin C cookies, this is still an invaluable tool, something invaluable to have in your emergency kit. Oh wait, are you looking at my hat? Are you looking at my guinea pig sanctuary beanie? Yes, it's awesome. Um, and it's keeping me really warm. Check out the uh, guinea pig sanctuary. What are you boys doing? So I hope you found this video useful, insightful. Um, I should put this in the diet section next to all my other vitamin C videos. Um, but on behalf of me and uh, the rest of the piggies, you know what? I will put the uh, illness playlist right here. There is an entire playlist of common illnesses. I also have an emergency kit playlist but let's check out the illness, common illness playlist. And it's really important that you learn common illnesses so that you can get your piggies treated and get them better before it gets out of control. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, and there'll be a link in the description.